Okay, for this tutorial, we'll be using four tools, Zapier, Dropbox, Gmail, or any email client you want, and uh, the Google search engine. All right, the first thing we're going to do is start off, uh, you're going to sign in. Uh, I have a free plan. Uh, just sign in to your account, and we're going to go ahead and look at our zaps. We have no zaps. We want to make a zap, but instead of going from scratch, we're going to go ahead and, and start from a template. We're going to go to Google, and we're going to type in Zapier email. And the first link you should get is email by Zapier or Zapier integrations. We're going to go ahead to that page, scroll down, and we're going to go ahead and look for add files to Dropbox by sending an email. Go ahead and click that. There we go. Create the zap. All right. New inbound email. Continue. Now this automatically generates. This is what you're going to be sending the email to, or if you have a service like uh, Google Mail for Businesses or some kind of uh, domain, you're going to forward to this this email. This is the ugly email that only you see. You're going to probably have something like like inbox or comments at businessname.com or something like that. There we go. So we're just going to go ahead and click continue. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and make a note of this. Copy to clipboard. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to paste uh, that. I know I'm going to probably get <laughs> some email bombs, but here we go. All right. There. And what it's doing right now is that it's testing to see if you sent an email or not. Uh, we're not going to worry with that part right now. Uh, we're just going to let it uh, fail out. So I'm going to go over here to the next part of it. And that's the upload file of it. Uh, let's see. Well, while that's happening, I guess we could go ahead and send a file to that odd email. So paste, okay. test. And notice I'm putting in a date. Uh, month day year i know this is way in the future and i'm just going to attach a file uh here we go sending so there we go i'm going back to the test zap thing and it's it's waiting for the email i just sent an email to this this ugly email address and uh, soon it will find that something was sent. In the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Dropbox. Dropbox is really simple. I made a little subfolder called Zapier and I'm going to dump everything to there. So I'm at uh, home Zapier and from there that's where I'm gonna go ahead and dump all the stuff you can name it anything you want I just decided to name it this all right the test was successful that's uh, saying that it received my email from Gmail uh, to that ugly email and you notice I did attach uh, the title.jpg this you know as an example so continue and now Dropbox action. What do we want it to do? We want it to upload a file. Continue. It's going to ask, ask us uh, what account do we want to do. Obviously, I signed in and I added my, my Dropbox account, my Gmail account, and my Twitter account, you know, just to play with it. But you only need your, your, Dropbox, your Dropbox account for this demo. So Dropbox account is already there. There we go. Save and continue. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. Um, for right now, you just go ahead and click it and it's going to have a whole bunch of defaults. Um, let's go ahead and put Zapier for now and continue. Now create and continue. There we go. And, uh, if we look at our folder, it, it just put it in there. Uh, so... And that's the, the bare bones simple plugin. And we're starting from this. I'm going to go ahead and delete that 
from the Dropbox. And what we're going to do, we're going to add steps to this. First, we're going to finish this. Um, your zap is on. Uh, see in your dashboard. So basically, when you click zaps up here, you're going to see that. We're going to go ahead and go to edits. We're going to add steps in between step one and step two. So let's go ahead and add. We're going to add an action. And the action we're going to add is a formatter. Uh, we're going to do a text formatter. Save and continue. And here uh, it's looking for uh, what kind of action we're going to do. We're going to split text. And input is the field that we get our data from. Uh, basically, uh, our inbound email has a whole bunch of fields, but we're looking for this. And notice that uh, this actually populates the email I just, you know, sent. So there's a lot of, you know, sample data in there. So test, you know, on that date I made. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So we're taking that string, that, that simple, you know, string of text, and we're going to separate it. How are we going to separate it? We're going to separate it by space and conveniently the little um, thing over here that, that uh, uh, denotes a space. So there we go. Segment index. That means which one are we going to look at the first word, the middle word, the last word, or the 30th word. We're going for the last word. We're going to assume it. We're going to assume that the date is always the last thing for this. There we go. All right. So we're going to split input. The separator is that. We're going to go ahead, create and continue. There we go. Now what we're going to do, we have uh, one, two, three. We're going to go ahead and put another step before upload file. Action, formatter very familiar we're going to do another text save and continue we're going to do another split and the input we're looking for is not from the inbound email we're looking for from step two the text from step two and we're looking at the output right there and that returns, you know, the last word that was that was separated by spaces. There we go. And now the separator and the date is actually a slash. There we go. And then which one are we going to do? Conveniently, there's only three areas in uh, in a date: the first variable, the second variable, and the last variable. I like to organize things by year, month, date. So I'm going to go ahead and put it as the last. And I'm going to just do a quick memorization that that the first thing I'm I'm uh, delimiting over there is uh, is the year. And as we can see, I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to repeat this action to get the month. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom uh, through it really quick. Another split. Our input source is not three, it's still two. We're still focusing on this. So we're clicking on that. The separator is still the slash. And the thing we're uh, focusing on is the first variable because that's the month. Create and continue. Good. Another action, formatter, text, save and continue. We're doing another split. The input again is from text number two. Notice that we have three and four. This is the year, this is the month, but this is the entire date here. 
And this is making a big assumption that the date's always at the end. Obviously, you know, you'd write your other automations to match that. The separator again is the slash. The segment is the second. Because the second, you know, part of the that date word would be the day. Good. All right. Create and continue. Now, we're going to go to the upload file, which is now, we have respectfully, I'm going to shrink these because we don't need to see them in full detail. Um, the new inbound email. This is the real email that I send out from a Gmail. I'm analyzing the text from this, uh, the, the subject line, and I'm taking the last word. I'm extracting the year from the last word. I'm extracting the month from the last word. I'm extracting the day from the last word. And here, I'm going to go ahead and edit template on here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those words I just uh, invented. Now, when I was uploading, I was uploading to my Dropbox uh, folder uh, Zapier. But what I want to do is I want to file it by year, month, day. So I'm going to go ahead and insert those. So the first thing I'm going to do is use custom value. So what that does is that that uh, pushes, that creates this little uh, box here. So Zapier is there. I'm going to insert a slash. I'm going to click this icon over here. I'm going to look for something. And I'm going to click it again because sometimes it's stubborn. And I'm going to uh, scroll down past the new inbound email and past text number two. Text number three. The output is 2017. That's a year. There we go. So that's going to file by a year slash. I'm going to go ahead and click that two times again. I'm going to look for text number uh, four, which uh, would be the month. I'm going to put another slash and I'm going to double click that again. I'm going to look for text number five, the output, which is 23, which is a day. So there we go. It's going to file uh, all these uh, these uploads to the folders up here, the year, the month, the day. And here the file is a setup attachment. You just leave that. So if it's a title.jpg or word document dot docx, you know, it'll keep that same name. Overwrite, I'm going to put no. Um, specify file name, you know, that's uh, that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Okay, it says my zap was turned off because I made a significant change. Continue. There we go. Test. Uh, create and continue. There we go. And what it did, when I clicked that, I didn't send resend the email. It tested the last email uh, again to see what would happen. So, uh, so basically took all the variables and just did a test. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Dropbox. Notice 2017, the month, the day, and title.jpg. Uh, just to do a uh, proof of concept on that, I'm going to go ahead and send another email with an uh, absurd date. So it's Dropbox. Uh, subject is, this is an a crazy subject and then let's say it's the uh, June uh, 10th of 2030 I'm going to go ahead and attach the same title I'm going to go ahead and send so I just really sent that to my Gmail. I'm going to go to my dashboard. And I'm not sure if I turned it on or not. I'm going to go to Zaps. Okay, this is off, so i got to make sure it's on. So it may have not picked it up. So I may have to resend it. So just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and, and resend it to you. Well, actually, it, it did... Um, it, I just saw it go in, but 
test a crazy, crazy thing. Um, four, five, 2017. And then So that looks like it has like a 20 second or 30 second delay. But then again, I, I had the zap turned off, so maybe it was kind of a lazy, uh, a lazy uh, count. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my Zapier root. Notice that the first one I had was four, and then I'm going in 23rd. This was the first one we did, but uh, I also did a crazy date. There we go. And then on the bottom right of my screen, you can't see it. Uh, 2017, four. Notice I have one for the fifth and one for the 23rd. I go there and that's it. Uh, any uh, questions, comments, or improvements, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thanks for your time, guys.